Animal Crossing fans, prepare to be blown away because at this year's E3 Nintendo Direct, the Big N finally gracied us with the presence of some brand new gameplay for Animal Crossing on the Switch. Let's have a little Tom Nook at what's new in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let's get the bad news out of the way first, shall we? Remember that Animal Crossing teaser trailer from last year that said we'd be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons by some point this year? Well, it turns out that that was a teaser as well, because this long-awaited Switch version of Animal Crossing will now launch on March 20th, 2020. 2020? That's made me so Animal Cross, I think I might start Animal Crying. <laughs> But look, grab a hanky and dry those eyes because there was plenty of goodness in this new gameplay that suggests that the wait will be well worth it. Let's start with New Horizons' new location, your very own deserted tropical island. Yup, say goodbye to your old town because now you're going to be taking charge of your very own landmass. It won't be deserted for long though because, as you can see here, the series' miserly Tom Nook will once again play a big part in the proceedings. Nook has his own development company called Nook Inc, and it's through this company that you get an invite to the island. As usual, you'll start with absolutely nothing and will have to work your way up to an acceptable standard of living by dealing with him and by befriending nearby animal neighbours, whom I presume will start to move in in greater numbers once you've paved paradise and put up a parking lot. In a very big change to the series, this time players won't start the game in a pre-existing village. Now you'll have complete freedom to build everything you want from scratch and place it wherever you want it. For instance, the tent which you start with can be pitched in whatever location you like, even on the beach, which of course is something you couldn't do with your house in New Leaf. Just a quick word of advice though, don't pitch a tent on a nudist beach or you'll get thrown out. Thanks to that stingy douche Tom Nook, you start with the bare minimum of items in New Horizon, but you can still place them anywhere you want inside your tent in order to make it your own. In another new spin on the series though, you're not just limited to the inside of your tent. You can now place all those items on the ground outside of your tent as well, which is perfect for some animal sunbathing if you're in the mood for a bit of chill time. Hold on a minute, is your pocket vibrating or are you just pleased to see me? Oh. Wait, no, it's it's your pocket. Your pocket's vibrating. Oh, I've got my hopes up then. Thought I was finally popular. <sighs> anyway, now Animal Crossing players will get their very own smartphones in the form of something called a Nook phone, which Tom Nook gives you very early on in the game. The Nook phone is going to be a very important piece of kit on the island as it opens up loads of new features for the Animal Crossing series, starting with... DIY Recipes Open up the DIY Recipes app and you'll be able to see all the items you can craft in the game and what resources you'll need in order to put them together. From tools to furniture, pretty much everything in the game can be crafted or can be used to craft other items with and you'll be able to acquire new recipes for your DIY app by either receiving them as gifts from other animals on the island, by buying them from stores or you can even discover them for yourself by finding new items around the game world. This new crafting mechanic needs more than just resources and recipes though, you'll also need a place to put it all together, and what better place to do that than on a crafting bench? Located in Tom Nook's tent, this workbench can be used to craft anything you want, as long as you have the component parts. 
For instance, these bundles of wood here have just been turned into something called a flimsy axe, which can then be used to chop down more of the island's trees in order to get hardwood and build even more complex items. The more things you craft, the more things you can build, and so on and so on, until you've turned your island into a top holiday destination for animals and humans alike. Crafting's not the only thing you can do in Tom Nook's tent though. You can also earn some bells by selling unwanted items to Timmy. If your bells are burning a hole in your pocket, he'll also sell you useful tools, seeds and seedlings. Although most things that can be bought can also be crafted, if you have the patience to learn the recipes and gather the materials. In the trailer there were some quick shots that showed a focus on planting and then looking after trees and flowers, so any of you budding botanists out there should be able to green up your fingers to your heart's content. That's not the only new mechanic we spotted in these quick glimpses of gameplay though. It looks like the player can now lay down paths too. Oh, and check out that new pole vaulting move. Screw you river, no more wet shoes for me. Once again, the Animal Crossing in-game clock is linked to the real world, so time of day and seasons will be echoed in the game. This time though, you can set the game to be in either the northern or southern hemisphere. In New Leaf, the in-game clock was limited to just the northern hemisphere, so now, wherever you live, winter and summer will be in the correct season. Let's head back to the Nook phone now for some more apps. This one is called Nook Miles and it works almost like Air Miles. Any activities you take part in in the game earn you Nook Miles, which you can then spend on in-game items and other in-game activities. The details on what these items and activities are are scarce at the moment, but Nook Miles can be collected by doing almost anything, even picking up weeds. So now there's added incentive to keep on doing all those little tasks that were normally pretty boring. The next app we'll be looking at on the Nook phone is called Call an Islander and this is probably the most exciting app of all because if you haven't already guessed, you can use this app to invite a friend who lives on the island to come and help you out. That's right, Animal Crossing now has cooperative multiplayer. In previous games you could watch each other play and check out each other's towns, but this time you can actually interact with each other, you can cooperate and you can share recipes. You can also temporarily set one of your friends to be the leader of your island so that they can then place items in your world or craft items using your workbench. Best of all though is the news that you can have up to eight players living on a single island, all playing at the same time in online multiplayer. You can even play multiplayer offline though with up to four people in local multiplayer on a single console using four Joy-Con. I just hope some of them bring some rum because it ain't a proper beach holiday until you've got a rum and coke in your hands, that's for sure. And finally, what's a phone without a camera app? Well, a Nokia 3310, that's what. Thankfully, the Nook phone does come with a built-in camera, which you can use to add filters and zoom in and out to capture your perfect shot. Say cheese! We've only seen a brief glimpse of Animal Crossing New Horizons so far, but what we have been shown at this year's E3 looks very promising indeed, and more importantly, it looks like it'll be worth that extra wait. Even though that extra wait will suck harder than a visit from Mr. Rossetti. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do give it an animal like, perhaps honour us with a new subscription, and do have a lovely day. Goodbye.